welcome a new vlogging camera and this is the vlogging camera so I can call myself a vlogger officially now right I actually ordered this one before I left for Malaysia but it came in late so I wasn't able to use it I ordered it because I wanted a smaller camera for my India travels because you know what a big camera flashing it around is just a sign like rob me oh you know like uh, what's his name Bruce Willis in uh, what was it? What was the movie? Comment below before I say it. Uh, Die Hard. But was it one, two or three? I have no idea. But you know what scene I'm talking about. Also, I put makeups on again. And I have fake eyelashes. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? I really like those things. And I'm going to put mascara on top because you know, three months without makeup, you can do anything you want. Also, I fixed my hair and me and the hubby are going to see ah, Hunger Games. Ah! Have you seen the movie? Are you excited? Is it good? Put a thumbs up if you like the Hunger Games. Also more glam, I painted my nails. It was actually the first thing I did after I meditated and did yoga this morning. Need to paint those nails, girls. Well, hello from the new vlogging camera. Do you notice the difference? It's so much lighter in my hands. I really like it. I didn't show you this yet, but I bought two huge scarves in Rishikesh. This one was only, I think, two euros or something, but it will keep me nice and warm and cozy during the cold winter months in the Netherlands. So this is what I'm wearing for date night. This is an old, like, statement necklace from H&M. A dress I bought in China. Blazer also from H&M. It has really cool details. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. There you go. And underneath it, I have heels and this blanket scarf thing to keep you warm because it's so cold in Amsterdam. I have to be honest, the Dutch gray skies are gorgeous, even though it's freaking cold. I'm so excited. So I love the Hunger Games book. The third movie, I have to admit, was quite disappointing, but I knew like what the end would be. So I kind of understood, but still, so excited for the end. Of my Look at him hugging the popcorn. <laughs> He's so cute. Holy schmeckers. Look at those girls' shoes. Look at those girls' shoes. Oh, damn it, bro. She, they were like rolling shoes. It's really cool. Love these stairs, by the way. Haha, -ha, there we go. The final part. Review in three, two, one. It was exactly like the book. It was amazing. I loved it. Loved it. And J Lo. Huge. Huge girl crush, she's so gorgeous. Yes, you should go watch the movie, it's really good. This voice is so loud, it's hurting our ears. It's so cold! Oh my gosh, I'm freezing! Warmth. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just switching to flat shoes because after all these months walking in flat shoes, this is enough heels for today. Just off for some grocery shopping and I haven't told you about my own Hunger Games yet because I'm really fasting today and it's okay, but the smell of the popcorn in the movie theater almost made me cave in almost so close so close so now we are off for the grocery store and i'm just going to buy some food for tomorrow and then when we get home i'm just off to bed because i don't want to think about food anymore the struggle is real i want to make pumpkin soup tomorrow but they don't have the, like the regular orange ones <laughs> so i just took this one so this is the rest of the groceries this is for stefan and this too, and this too, and this too. <laughs> what is for me? <laughs> Only these things, the nuts thingies and the, the little, little bananas. Let's reminisce a little bit about India. I don't know about your experience through my vlogs, but for me it was, I don't know, one of the most humbling experiences ever. It's such a beautiful country. The people are so nice, so friendly, so kind, so generous. It, It's insane. They say like, before I went to India, I was very scared and they say India is a teacher. It will show you like things you never knew about yourself. You will get into situations in India which you cannot experience anywhere else in the world and it's such a huge 
lesson how you respond in those situations we live like in in disneyland compared to india it's so clean here everything is arranged like you go to the train station you buy a train ticket you get into the train and it's it's such a luxury we have so much luxury here and i'm so grateful for everything that i've seen and of course i'm not gonna let you hanging about my second fasting experience it is so humbling so humbling to not eat for a day and it has for me it has everything to do with humbleness and so many people in the world for whom this is just reality you don't know if you're going to have a meal on this day and for me it really puts the luxuries we have in perspective also it's i don't know it gives you so much peace in your mind so this is the next day i'm having delicious delicious coconut oatmeal with this almond and apricot mix i got it for the first time it looked delicious so if you want to go to india the one and only thing i can say is go go it's my favorite country i love it so much you can definitely go as a solo female traveler just don't don't do stupid things seriously like use your common sense don't go out at night by yourself and well sometimes you can but up until i think maybe eight or something like as long as there are females on the street you can go outside by yourself in the big city so i have one more announcement before i sign off the regular dutch slash amsterdam vlog schedule will run from tomorrow again so no vlogs on monday and tuesday and then i'll be vlogging daily from wednesday until sunday so i'm signing off see you on wednesday thank you so much for traveling with me oh also on wednesday we'll discuss about future travel plans okay i love you bye bye